Hello, this is for now the last podcast on basic income news. My name is Olga Babkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. Basic income news reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. Funding. In Chris Stachio's blog, you can read his recent post modeling a basic income with Python and Monte Carlo simulation. You can read Ryan Ross's article, NDP calling for increased minimum wage guaranteed income, in The Guardian. United Kingdom. You can read John Maiden's article, Basic Income Restructuring the Economy, published in Now Then magazine, issue 68. India. Taking inspiration from the Swiss referendum, the article A Universal Basic Income for All Indians, published in Hindustan Time, argues for big in India, claiming the idea is to help the poor and ensure that government intervention is minimized. Europe The European Citizens' Initiative for Basic Income has an interactive map of basic income groups throughout Europe. The map has links and contact info for dozens of groups from Portugal to Finland and from Ireland to Greece. The content is available in English, Dutch, French and German. The United States. You can read Elliot Ferber's article Toward a Salutary Political Economy, Freedom from Jobs, published in Heathwood Press. Cyprus. In July 2013, Cypriot President Nikos Anastasiades announced the implementation of a guaranteed minimum income, but the president's language was self-contradictory. The program was supposed to be a guaranteed minimum income, assuring a dignified living, irrespective of age, class or professional situation. But he also said, the single but absolutely necessary precondition is that they don't refuse to accept offers for employment, and to participate in the policies of continuous employment that are determined by the state. The name of the program and the first quote imply that the program would be a negative income tax, a form of basic income guarantee, with some features in common with an unconditional basic income. However, the second quote demonstrates that it is neither a negative income tax nor an income guarantee of any kind. If recipients are held to a work requirement, they are not guaranteed to have an income. Those who refuse employment or who are unable to take employment but unable to prove that inability cannot receive the income that is supposedly guaranteed. Whether the program, which will take effect in 2014, involves a practical step in the direction of a basic income guarantee at all is questionable. However, it does represent a rhetorical step toward a basic income guaranteed. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at BINews. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. For further updated information on basic income, visit BINews website.